Ooh, a spotlight. I am not the police. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, as you can see, <clears throat> we are actually back in the Impala. Oh, yeah. And today's video is going to be about this thing right here. Spotlight. So, as I alluded to in one of my past videos, um, the spotlight on this vehicle did have some issues originally. Um, what would happen is it would do something called flopping. And as I mentioned in the other video, basically the spotlight would flip around backwards. And it would even uh, kind of hyperextend. It would come even further down and actually smack the, the uh, mirror here. So, as you can tell, that's uh, not a good thing, and when you're driving pretty quick, that can be kind of scary. So, this spotlight minus the handle is brand new. It's actually new old stock. I think I bought it on eBay. But, uh, what you have here is there's a uh, power cord right here that actually gets tucked inside of the weather stripping here. And if I pull this out... What you have is basically a little uh, power plug. So this one's square. That's uh, on this Impala. I don't know if that's every single Impala. But uh, it's got a square, like a square or rectangular type plug. Basically disconnect. You're good to go. Um, on the Crown Victorias, I believe it's a round. Um, the replacement spotlight I bought was actually for a uh, Crown Vic Police Interceptor. And uh, I would imagine that the Dodges probably have a slightly different version too. But this little power thing just tucks right into the uh, weather stripping here and kind of disappears so if you wanted to remove this spotlight so let's say you bought yourself an ex-police car and you don't want to look like a cop um right here this nut right or this bolt right here this little screw uh i believe this one's a torx head if you unscrew this you can take this handle off and once this handle comes off, this entire assembly will slide out of the A-pillar. So you can actually just slide this right out. And then all you're left with right here is just the mounting bracket, um, and a couple of screws, and then basically a hole straight through your A-pillar. Um, once you unplug this, you can tuck the other wire away that used to be in there. And then you'll probably want to, depending on you know how clean you want it to be, if you wanted to completely remove it, um, you would take these two screws out, clean this area up, put some silicone on it, and uh, it would almost look like there was nothing here. There might be a little bit of uh, an area here that you might notice, you know, but uh, if you wanted it gone, that's how you would do that. So let's get over to the other spotlight, the one that I showed you guys before. And here's what it looks like off of the car. And this is actually the extra handle that I got from uh, my Crown Rick Auto mystery box. So as you can see, there's no uh, bolt here or anything. But uh, let me see what I can do here. So basically, you have this little, uh, looks like a Torx head. Like I said, it's a six-sided Thing. I don't know how well that's coming into focus, but uh, like a star type screwdriver. And then what you have on most cars is a, I guess they call this like a, uh, like a shim or something, um, or huh? wedge, I think is the, the name that Unity gives it. But what it has, it has one flat side and you can screw into it and it basically goes into that hole right there. And when you pull the handle apart, there's actually, kind of hard to tell because the lighting is kind of weird in here, but um, there's actually a little area right there on the side that's got a divot in it. And that's what that fits into. It kind of presses up against that and helps give you full control over the rotation, uh, the actual kind of rotation of this thing, of the actual light head itself when it's in the car. So what will happen, as you can see with this one, is it will crush over time. No! Just from wear and tear, and it'll break. And when that breaks, you'll get a flopping issue. Basically, the spotlight will spin around and flip backwards on the uh, windshield there. 
Um, so it'll be laying like this. So I'll take you over to the car so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It will literally spin around backwards and be resting like that. And usually my mind would hit the mirror because it would flip around so bad. Uh, see, this spotlight is nice and tight. doesn't touch the actual A-pillar itself. That one, because of the wear and tear, would actually touch the A-pillar and rub on it. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some rub marks there. And this one won't go any further than this. Um, that light, the old one, would actually, like I said, spin around and almost hit the mirror. So, you know, this light is actually made by Unity. Um, what you would think is a lens is actually the light itself. So, basically, where's that thing at? Oop, need that piece. Um, it's a little screw here. Uh, you can pop that off. This ring comes off the actual assembly, and then this light bulb is actually connected in here. And if you wanted to change this out, this isn't a lens, this is not a cover, it's the actual light itself. So if you change this bulb, it comes out looking nice and pretty, kind of like the one over here on the car. So and as you can see, this one's nice and shiny, nice and pretty. And if you want to keep your lens pretty, keep your light folded. Like keep it tucked down, don't face it out towards traffic, because when you're going down the road, if you have this thing out, um, you know, if you spin this thing around, you're going to catch every insect and piece of road debris and everything else, and it's going to mar up your lens over time. So if you want to preserve your light, that's probably the best way to do it, is keep that thing tucked away. That way uh, it's not getting hit by road debris, insects, and all the other fun stuff that you're probably driving through. There are some other bolts here that help with adjustments. If I remember correctly, this uh, helps hold one of the gears in place. I think there's another one. Uh, over in here. I don't remember where exactly it's at, but there's a couple of gears that uh, you can use that to adjust Another thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, unity actually has some really good uh, Information on their website. You can actually go print out these schematics It'll help you kind of see all the pieces to the puzzle so this is the actual uh, handle itself, completely disassembled. And I'll tell you what each one of these things is, you know, screw, gear, uh, <clears throat> cap assembly, toggle assembly, bushing. And you can actually order some of this stuff. There's some components here that Unity sells. Uh, there's some people out there on YouTube, or not YouTube, uh, eBay that sell that kind of stuff. Uh, you can check their channel, or check their pages out there. <laughs> uh, sometimes I make no sense. None. Zero. Zilch. Boy, I've messed got YouTube on my mind. I don't know what's going on here. But here you go. This kind of shows uh, the diagram of the light. See, there's the ring right here. You have the actual bulb itself and then the actual housing. So these uh, schematics here, like I said, are available on Unity's website. Um, yeah. UnityUSA.com yeah, They've got some kits and things available. So... They've pretty much made all the spotlights for most police cars, you know, through, you know, all of time. At least as far as I know. So, if you have an old cop car or are trying to preserve one or maybe you're a constable somewhere, you know, hopefully you found this video sort of useful. Uh, if you need some more in-depth details on things, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know about it. Tell me what you guys want to see, and I can, uh, as long as I know something about it, I'll try to help you guys out. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sure YouTube will come by and let me know that I'm wrong. So, other than that, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got a kick out of it. Hope you appreciated seeing this stuff, and until next time, uh, appreciate you stopping by. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please click the like button. Uh, if you like the content, subscribe. If you really like the content, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified the next time I post a video. Um, be sure to leave some kind of constructive comment, or you can just tell me I'm a creepy cop impersonator. Whatever makes you happy. Uh, either way, love to all of you. Now, it's time for Random Thought.
I still think that's pretty funny. A cop car with remote start came from the auction that way? Yeah. <laughs>